So what is going on everybody? My name is Mehul and welcome to your second responsive web design tutorial in which I'm going to start off with the difference between responsive and adaptive web design. Right, so you don't actually need to know about that but uh, in any case um, somebody asks you that uh, if you are a responsive web designer or an adaptive web designer which is actually highly unlikely someone would ask such a lame question but anyways so what does the difference is actually between these two terms right you should know the terminology on the internet so yeah let's just fire our favorite editor and uh, now what essentially responsive design means is that uh, when you scale down your screen little every time the things inside your website automatically arranges themselves nicely the grid becomes shorter and uh, you know everything is cool adaptive design on the other hand is like activating a sort of design right so if this is your website what adaptive design would look like is that this is a desktop view this is a tablet view and this is a phone view now these all these three are separately programmed and written into HTML and CSS right so your HTML could probably just look like divide a um, desktop view and uh, divide a um, tablet view and just close these and again divide a mobile view right so essentially what you have to do in css is just toggle the ids as as the width of the device changes right so if the width is under 650 or i don't know 550 or 720 or whatever the standard size is right now these days you toggle to mobile view you toggle to tablet view you toggle to desktop view and all that stuff right so that is what adaptive design means responsive design on the other hand would take care of uh, um, the middle numbers as well like uh, um, 935 pixels right i don't think any standard device has a screen size of that but your responsive design would look good on that as well so your adaptive design your adaptive website might look something like uh, uh, this on your 953 pixel tablet this black this brown or you know the border which i'm drawing right now is your tablet screen so and yellow is your website so this yellow website might look something like this but a responsive website would look good on even um, this weird screen size device as well so yeah pretty much that is the difference between an adaptive design and a responsive design and obviously we're gonna go with responsive design because adaptive designs are I think they are sort of you know useless to do and uh, kind of they're boring as well <laughs> so we're gonna go with responsive design and would be adding a lot of styles to our code and would be doing a lot of refactoring as well and uh, yeah i'm excited to start about this so that is all for this tutorial and if you liked it then don't forget to subscribe and thank you for watching i'll see you then in the next one